Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue with your mapped network drive that says that it could not reconnect all network drives. So if you want to just turn off this notification, in today's tutorial I will show you guys how to permanently turn off that message. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start off by opening up the start menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best result, should come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create the backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range, keep that at all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you would have to do is select File and then Import, and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double-clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing for System. Locate Current Control Set, double-click on it. Locate Control, double-click on that one as well and then locate the network provider folder and now you want to right click on the network provider folder select new select dword 32 bit value now you would just type in restore connection first letter of each word should be capitalized so again restore connection hit enter now you want to double click on this value you want to make sure it's set to zero and go ahead and select OK. Once you're done with that, you can just close out the registry editor, restart your computer, and that should be it. If you want to undo this down the road, rather than resetting the registry, you could just come in here and delete this registry value that we just created. But like I said, this is a pretty straightforward and self-explanatory process, guys. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.